Hello Year One and happy Friday. We are going to get started with your maths lesson for the last day of this half term. And I'm going to start by giving everybody a super round of applause because you have worked really, really hard with your Year Two booklets. You have had some really tricky, tricky challenges and you have had lots and lots of new learning this half term and even though you've been working at home you have blown me away because you have worked really hard you have listened really carefully and you have shown your adults what superstars you are so well done now my fabulous friday shout outs are to samuel and alexa for your fractions this week you really really worked hard drawing all of your shapes and finding those fractions for me, so well done. Now, for today's learning then, Friday the 12th of February, we are going to end our half term of maths with a quiz. So, this quiz is going to test all of your learning that we have done this half term so far. So there might be a question on division, there might be a question on multiplication. There might be a question on addition or how to write a word as a number or even how to write a number as a word. So I would like you to get a piece of paper and a pencil and you need to write down the numbers from one to 10. So down the side of your page, you need number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There are ten questions in my quiz today. Okay, so pause the board if you need to, get ready, maybe have your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen on the side, so if you need to do any working out, you could use that, and then we can start our quiz. Okay, now because it is a quiz, I'm going to say parents, no conferring, so that means no helping, let's see. Let's see what we can do today, okay? Let's have a little bit of fun, see how hard we can work. So, we'll go through each question, and then I'm not going to go through the answers, okay? So it gives you lots of time to really check, make sure you're happy with your answers, and then you're going to send them me, and then I will email you back and let you know your score. I wonder who will be at the top of the leaderboard. I think you will all get 10 out of 10 because you've all been working so hard. Are we ready? Question number one. What is one more than 47? I know you're thinking, Miss James, this quiz is going to be easy peasy. Well, they do get a little bit trickier. What is one more than 47? Okay, question two. Write the number 87 as a word. Now, for this question, I am going to be quite a meanie and I am going to be looking for spelling. If it's not spelled correctly, uh -uh, no mark. Okay, I'm going to be really tough. So 87 as a word. Brilliant job. Number three. Finish my sequence. I'm not going to say it because that will give it away but you've got two blank spaces so for your answer I would like to see each number written in the right sequence okay don't forget as well you can pause the board at any time that you need to okay when we're going through these questions or go back if you need to question number four what is one less than 56. What is one less than 56? Okay. I know you're shouting that one straight at the screen. Question number five. Halfway through. What do you need to add to 13 to make 20? What do you need to add to 13 to make 20? Very tricky. Okay, 
give you a little clue for this one. You might want to write it as a sum with a missing number. That might give you a really, a really good idea of how to solve that. Okay, number six. Solve my sum. 54 add 14. Okay, another little clue. You might need to partition. Okay, there we go. I'll give you a little clue. I'm really helping you really, aren't I here? It's meant to be a quiz and I'm giving you lots and lots of clues. Number seven, question number seven. 73 take away 40 equals how many? Okay, I'll say it one more time. 73 take away 40 equals how many? And a little clue with this one. Word problem, turn it into a number problem first to help you. Okay. Question number eight. How many even numbers are there between zero and 30? Okay. How many even numbers are there between zero and 30? Think about our even numbers. Think what we might need to count in. Okay. Question number nine. What is seven times four or seven multiplied by four? Okay. Quite a tricky one. How are you going to solve that today? What is seven multiplied by four? And then last but not least, question number 10. Now, this is the trickiest one of all. 32 divided by something equals something. Now, there might be more than one way that 32 can be divided, okay? So as long as your two answers are correct, you will get a point. Bonus point if you can give me more than one answer because I know there is more than one way to solve that problem. So 32 divided by something equals something. So for every answer you give me for question 10, you will get an extra point. So this question could really see you soaring to the top of the leaderboard. Amazing, have a really good go, okay? So that's all of our questions then for our maths quiz for today. Well done for your super hard term of learning. You have been amazing, okay? And the work that you have been sending has been making me smile every day. So have a brilliant half term. Have a lovely rest. You deserve it. And don't forget to email me your answers and I will let you know your score, okay? And maybe on, when we come back after half term, we'll have a little leaderboard and see who got what score, but I know that we're all going to have got at least 10, okay, which is top marks. Have a lovely half term and I'll see you in a week.